Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today on bone marrow biopsy needle, biopsy or bone marrow aspiration. So this uh, needle which you see here, this is Jamshadi bone marrow biopsy needle. Jamshadi bone marrow biopsy needle. Okay. So, the bone marrow biopsy or bone marrow aspiration, which we do, what are the indications? First, we will learn about the bone marrow aspiration and then we will learn how bone marrow biopsy is done. Okay. So, first, bone marrow aspiration. So, bone marrow aspiration, how, how, how are we go? First, what are the sites where we do this bone marrow aspiration? The most common sites are, one, sternal. Okay. Let me draw it here. Okay. So, you will do in manubrium one that is you can do either in manubrium or in the body of the sternum okay in the sternum you can select these two sites and then you can also do in in the posterior iliac crest the second site where we can do is in the posterior iliac crest posterior iliac crest so the first site where we do is sternal body or manubrium the second site where we do is posterior iliac crest then we can also do if this is the femur okay tibia fibula Okay, you can do in the tibia that to medial aspect below the tibial pubercle you can do at this stage. This is the third site where you can do and then you can also do in the vertebrae that to spinous process of vertebrae on the back side. Okay, fourth you can do on spinous process of vertebrae so these are the different areas where you can do bone marrow aspiration okay now how are we going to do bone marrow aspiration i'll just show you in this diagram so uh, the in this procedure first we uh, place the patient in the uh, there are two positions where we can first we can place it in left lateral position or uh, in this position also or in, or, or in uh, lying down position uh, that is prone position in either of the procedure pro pro positions we can try to do the bone marrow aspiration so now what we do is we first put infiltrate it with local anesthesia the local anesthesia which is used is 5 milliliters in 2% lidocaine solution Okay, and here this shows the um, bone marrow biopsy of the uh, posterior iliac crest here. So here we will uh, first the needle is held. If this is the bone, the needle. If you see, this is the bone. The needle is held right-handed, right angles to the bone, and slowly with a clockwise or anti-clockwise action, the needle is inserted into the skin first it is inserted into the skin and then it is inserted into the bone and in the bone we do either clockwise or anti-clockwise action mostly we do clockwise or anti-clockwise action and then we will push it through the cortex we will just rotate it like this like this and then we will push it into the cortex until once one this cortex is very tough so once you are once you have entered the bone once you will find the bone once you have found the bone you will just do a clockwise and anti-clockwise motion like this you will do clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti -clockwise, anti -clockwise. like this and you will uh, enter into the medulla once you have crossed the cortex the resistance which you felt that is decreased okay the re decreased resistance is felt once you have once the resistance is decreased then that suggests that you are in spongy bone or in marrow basically once the resistance is decreased then you can feel that it is in marrow the needle which is there that is in marrow now you will remove the stylet of the needle once you remove the stylet 
of the needle you will first remove the stylet of the needle and you will attach a syringe now in this needle you will remove the stylet and then you will do you will just attach a syringe okay here you will re you have removed the stylet and you have attached the syringe this is the syringe which is attached so once you have attached the syringe through the syringe you will aspirate the suction you will have to aspirate it with the suction the suction which is used is 0.5 ml uh, the suction is used so that at least 0.5 ml of marrow is aspirated so we will aspirate at least 0.5 ml of marrow so uh, with the suction we will aspirate the marrow so if the marrow and then you will just remove the needle you'll have to take precaution that you will not allow the peripheral blood the blood which is uh, because of the injury of the soft tissues that blood should not enter this needle only the marrow should be aspirated and then if the if the marrow is not aspirated we cannot aspirate the marrow then you will have to advance it a little more or else you will have to remove the needle and you will have to try one more side so this is how you do a bone marrow aspiration now you have aspirated the bone marrow the aspirated content which you have taken that is put on a slide and you are going to analyze it so in some cases you do not get bone marrow that is called as dry tap okay where are you going to see dry tap dry tap is seen one if there is any faulty technique while you are doing the technique which you are doing is wrong there is some mistake in the technique which you are doing that is faulty technique then you will do you will get a dry tap whenever there is hypoplasia that is decreased cells or aplasia of bone marrow the bone marrow has become aplastic in aplastic anemia or in some cases there can be dry tap the third when there is myelofibrosis myelofibrosis is a condition where the bone marrow is replaced the bone marrow basically the red bone marrow that is replaced by fibrous tissue so that is myelofibrosis this can also get a dry the due to this also you can get a dry tap and then whenever there is tightly packed marrow even in the presence of tightly packed marrow you can get dry tap so these are the many uh, things where many reasons why you can get a dry tap now let us learn about the indications of bone marrow aspiration the main indications are whenever there is unexplained anemia or granulocytopenia you are not able to explain why there is anemia why there is granulocytopenia or why there is thrombocytopenia okay then you can do this uh um, bone marrow aspiration and whenever there is aplastic anemia okay even then you can do this bone marrow aspiration if there is leukemias even then you can do if there is kalazar okay or malaria or whenever there is multiple myeloma or bone marrow tumors all these are the indications where you do a bone marrow biopsy or bone marrow aspiration so what are the contra indications of bone marrow aspiration the main contra indication is bleeding disorder the major contra indication for bone marrow aspiration is bleeding disorder so these are the different contra indications and indications where you do bone marrow biopsy bone marrow aspiration now what are the needles which we use for bone marrow aspiration needles for bone marrow aspiration one needle is called as salas needle okay with a side screw the second needle is clima needle with central screw the final one is jamshedis needle which i have said which i have showed you jamshedis needle this is for bone marrow biopsy needle 
okay now how how what how is the how how do we do bone marrow biopsy now we have learned about bone marrow aspiration the indications and contraindications will be similar for both bone marrow biopsy and bone marrow aspiration here what we do is we go in the same way same way we will just uh, mostly it is done in left lateral position or right lateral position sometimes in the back also so here it's mostly in left lateral position most commonly we do don't forget any uh, either bone marrow biopsy or lumbar needle puncture we do in left lateral position most commonly okay now uh, this is a wrong picture but i could not get the others so now what we do is even here in this uh, bone marrow biopsy we will just uh, introduce the biopsy needle perpendicular to the um, uh, to the bone and then we will first incise the um, skin and then you will introduce the uh, scalpel sorry introduce this needle bone marrow biopsy needle which is trifin biopsy needle which is jamshedi's needle so once you have introduced the needle it reaches the bone then you will find the resistance so with the resistance you will do clockwise and anti clockwise with this boring type of motion you will do and you will you will uh, introduce it and you will uh, you know drill the cortex you will introduce it and once you have introduced it in the cortex once it has crossed the cortex the resistance which is there that will be lost once the resistance is lost then the stylet is removed okay then the then you will remove the stylet and you will just advance the needle you are you are not going to attach the syringe in bone marrow aspiration we are attaching the syringe but here in bone marrow biopsy we don't attach the syringe but we will just uh, we will just advance it a little more so that the marrow specimen which is there that marrow specimen goes into this holes there are holes here so it can go into this holes so that is how mostly we'll have only one hole in jamshedi so with the help of the hole which is below the marrow specimen that goes inside that's it we are not going to do any we are not going to aspirate anything here so once you have uh, got the specimen you'll just uh, remove it and the and you'll smear it out and you will do a staining technique and this is how you are going to do bone marrow biopsy here in bone marrow aspiration or bone marrow biopsy the procedure is mostly similar the only difference is in bone marrow aspiration you are going to attach a needle uh, with uh, a needle and then you are going to aspirate it in bone marrow biopsy you are not going to aspirate it you are just going to advance it a little more so that the chunk of the bone tissue or marrow tissue that goes into the needle uh, you know into the needle hole that is the only difference between the bone marrow biopsy and bone marrow aspiration other than that the indications and contraindications all are similar so this is about the um bone marrow biopsy and aspiration so i think you understood about bone marrow biopsy and aspiration thank you guys for watching my lecture if you have any doubts please comment it in the comment section if you feel something is inadequate in this lecture even then comment it in the comment section thank you for watching my lectures thank you